Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So till now we have covered three modules under digital image processing based on the latest video syllabus. This is the professional elective subject. In that the three modules are already covered where I've made the detailed videos. So those have not seen it, those are new to this video, please go and see it. So with this video, I'm going to start from module four. So I'm going to cover only two or three videos under module four because there are no much concepts in module four. One is related to the color image processing, different color models. And one more is related to the uh, pseudo color image processing. That is in the next video, I'm going to do it. Then one more is related to the homomorphic filtering. Okay. So these three videos, I'm going to do it in the upcoming mod, uh, the upcoming module that is module four of the video syllabus for DIP. Okay. So this is the module name that is color image processing. Okay. So under color image processing, we have different color characteristics, which you need to be knowing. One is brightness. Brightness is one color characteristics. It means that the amount of intensity brightness is an attribute of visual perception, which is a source which appears to be the reflecting light. Okay. Brightness is a very, very important color characteristic. Why? Because the more and less amount of brightness would be deciding the color intensity or color saturation. Okay. So the brightness plays a very uh, important role. Next, next, next important factor is hue. Hue represents the dominant color family of specific color we are looking at. The term is also used to refer to colors that have no added tint or shade. The colors on the outermost perimeter of the color circle are hues which are colors in the purest form. Okay. The colors of hue are always, always in their purest form. Okay. They are the dominant color family where the colors, uh, the, where the colors are uh, of different variety. For example, if you take the shade of rainbow, in that colors which you be uh, present which is present right in uh, if you see it in our naked eyes uh, the actual rainbow you could be seeing the colors reflecting from each other and forming a different shade of light okay so that is due to the dominant color family and the color characteristics so that is present under the hue condition okay next is saturation saturation refers to the intensity of color in an image as the saturation increases the colors appear to be more pure okay as the saturation decreases, the colors appear to be more washed out or pale. Okay, so this is this is all about saturation. So here we have the shades of hue here. You see here, different shades of hue, saturation and brightness. Okay, just uh, go through it once. Next is color models. So we have different kinds of color models. Color models provide a standard way to specify a particular color by defining a 3D coordinate system. Okay. So these are the different kinds of color model that is RGB, CMY and HSI. RGB means the names, name, the name itself suggests R stands for red, G stands for green and B stands for blue. Okay. So RGB model for color monitors and video cameras. So in this, these are the applications for RGB. Okay. So it is used in most of the color images which you see. Okay. Next is CMY. CMY model again, very important model where C stands for cyan magenta and yellow okay it is used for color printing next is hsi model that is hue saturation and intensity okay it is used for image processing applications so these are the three color models which you need to be knowing so in this way it is uh, represented in the 3d coordinate system you see here the coordinates are the colors which they are highlighted here okay so here this is for blue this is for cyan magenta white black green red and yellow okay so these are the different set of colors in the three coordinate systems they have mentioned it here okay just note it down so in this way the colors are divided here with this flow chart you should be remembering it okay if you write this also in the exam it is well and good you would be getting marks so see here first is the rgb model in the rgb model an image consists of three independent image planes so those three image planes are red green and blue image plane where each of the image plane would be having the intensity levels varying from 0 to 255. Okay. For red shade, we have the intensity levels from 0 to 255. For green, it would be from 0 to 255. And for also for blue, it would be from 0 to 255. The figures show the geometry of the RGB color model for specifying colors using a Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. So this is the Cartesian coordinate system, three dimensional, where all these colors are specified and they are arranged in such a way that one proper color image processing 
system is formed okay the gray scale spectrum that is those colors made from equal amount of each primary lies on the line joining the black and white vertices okay so the, in this region the gray scale images are formed this is the region dotted lines the gray scale images are formed in these positions okay next the rgb model you will see here as i have told you we can represent each rgb planes from the intensity levels 0 to 255 okay so, so there are 256 different shades for r g and b okay each rgb color image consists of three component images these three images are combined to form a color image okay so this you, you see here for different shades the rgb color you can see we can represent rgb from 0 to 255 0 represents the darkest shade and 255 represents the brightest shade okay so since 0 is the darkest shade so the lesser number consists of the dark color and the lower number that is the greater number consists of the light color okay in these three you could be seeing the difference here based on the definition provided here okay so these are some other things rgb model next is cmy model so with respect to rgb model we have one more model which is combined with the uh, model plane that is cmy model okay cmy model the flow color flow is cyan magenta yellow cmy it is a subtractive model for example rgb model asks what is added to black to get a particular color okay cmy model asks what is subtracted from white okay so this is basically the subtraction subtracted model if you want to get back the uh, if you want to get back one particular image based on the rgb colors provided you could be getting the alternate cmy colors okay in this case these three cyan magenta and yellow are the primaries and red green blue are the secondary colors okay it consists of cmy as well as rgb where the cmy colors are primary and rgb colors are secondary in case of this model okay the relationship between rgb and cmy models are given here that is you see this here rgb is equal to 1 minus cmy okay or cmy it is vice versa also cmy is equal to 1 minus rgb so it would be this one represents the shade here that is so the examples also they have given that is example for rgb to cmy conversion from this you would be understanding this matrix even more so you see here the rgb values they have given it as 35 98 and 156 they have told us to convert these values to cmy configuration okay so how it is done simply divide each values by 255 okay that is first rgb values you take it initially r dash g dash and b dash first divide all these values by 255 because th there are 255 different shades of colors in each plane right so after dividing you would be getting our answers as for r dash as 0.137 for g dash as 0.384 and for b dash as 0.611 now 1 minus the whatever answer we got that is 1 minus r dash for c, c then 1 minus g dash for m 1 minus b dash for yellow okay so do that subtraction and whatever answers we get that is the conversion rate of cmy okay the direct conversion we, we cannot be making it with respect to this condition only you should be making it is also possible for vice versa that is cmy to rgb conversion also the same way you should be doing it so now hope it is clear the how, how this cmy model works next is the hsi model okay so this is one completely different model this color model represents every color with three components that is hue saturation and intensity okay so this is the structure of the hsi model it is it is not the combination of rgb and cmy it is the separate model which is in the cone structure they have given it here okay so in this way the hsa model is defined this diagram if you write it it is well and good you see here the hue component describes the color in the form of angle between 0 to 360 degrees okay so this is the angular color model where the angles play a vital role so that's why it is uh, kept as a 3d image here where the internal angles play a very very vital role okay the saturation component describes how much the color is diluted with white light the range of this S varies between 0 and 1. The intensity range is between 0 and 1 and 0 means black, 1 means white. In case of intensity, it, it is either black or white. Whereas in case of saturation, we have different shades of color. Okay. And that color would be getting diluted to different forms of color with respect to the range provided by the hue. Okay. 
So conversion from uh, RGB to HSI. So this uh, some of the conversions are there. So in case if they ask problems, so this would be very very beneficial. That is uh, hue is converted. H is given by H is equal to theta if the blue color is less than or equal to green color, green shade, and it is 360 minus theta if blue color is strictly greater than green. Okay, where theta is defined as cos inverse of half into r minus g plus r minus b divided by square root of r minus g the whole square plus r minus b into g minus b. Okay, so this is the value of theta. If you substitute if you substitute these values of uh, uh, red, green, and blue uh, blue shades, whatever is in the question they have given, if you substitute it and solve it for theta, then if you see if uh, these two conditions uh, with respect to these two conditions, you should be finding the value of hue here. And saturation in terms of RGB is given by S is equal to one minus three divided by R plus G plus B. Okay, into minimum of RGB. Okay, well, minimum means whichever has the less, lesser value that you should be multiplying with this term. Intensity is given by the average that is r plus g plus b divided by 3 all rgb values are normalized in the range of 0 and 1 so this was the rgb to hsi model conversion and these are the three different models under color image processing so this is one simple problem here this ppt i'm going to share it in the drive go and access it and read this problem you would be understanding it okay so that's all for this video guys please support us like share subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next video thank you